Good evening, church. God is good and all the time. Church, today, tonight I want to talk about how there is power in saying a good bye. A good bye. Church, every great story has a great ending. Look at the story of the beauty and the beast, Les Miserables, the pirates of the Caribbean. Great endings. There are some personal stories, though, that leave us hanging. My first dog in 1983, her name was Shasha, was so much fun to be with. She loved being held. She loves to eat and eat and eat, like Father Mario. <laughs> she has no sense of direction, though. I was in fourth grade when we got her as a puppy. One day, she got loose and never came back. I remember sitting in front of our house, waiting for hours in tears. That was my first loss, and I can still remember the pain of that awful ending. I remember one funeral here in which some of the adult children that were grieving were hysterical in church. We heard words like this, I did not tell you I love you. I did not tell you how good you were to us. It was so painful hearing their loud cries of regret. Church, the Lord Jesus gave the best goodbyes. Forty days after the resurrection, the Lord said goodbye to his friends as he ascended to the heavens. In fact, those 40 days spent with them were 40 days of goodbyes. Here are some of the things that we can learn from the Lord Jesus in saying a goodbye. First, he forgave them. Church, we need to let go. We need to let go. Second, he spent quality time with them like eating breakfast, letting them touch him, and etc. We need to give priority to our relationships. You keep on hearing that from me. We need to give priority to our relationships, not to your car, not in your garage, not on your phones, to your relationships. Third, he asked them to do things for him. Love one another and make disciples. Love one another and make disciples. We need to give our loved ones a mission to live and die for. A mission to live and die for. My friends, there is power in saying a good bye. In whatever situation you are in life, be it going to live in another state or go to school or work, or when you know that you are dying, or when you leave for work every day, say a good farewell. Tell them that you love them. Tell them how much you are proud of them. Tell them that you are wait, willing to wait for them. And if necessary, say, I forgive you. Or please forgive me. You have the power to make a good ending. When my dad was alive and we, were, we had a house in Bolingbrook, it was our custom in saying goodbye to give a bear hug, like a man hug, not like this man hugs. <laughs> you know, a bear hug. And then we give each other a kiss on the cheeks. And then we say the words, I love you. And then me asking my dad to bless me before I give him my blessing as a priest. Then my parents would stand at the door until I drove away, waving their hands. I miss that. 
I wish you have somebody do that for you. That when you leave, somebody is there at the door waving their hand at you. Church, I still carry those memories with me. I was called to do last prayers for the dying mother of six in her late 90s. When I arrived, the whole family, more than 50 of them, were in the house. And sitting on her bed were her six children, all grown up, some with their own grandchildren. Part of the ritual I incorporate was to ask every member of the family to say their goodbyes with a kiss or a laying on of hands. I heard the words, I love you, Mom. You are the best. Mom, you're my favorite mother-in-law. LOL. <laughs> Nana, I will never forget you. Nana, thank you for giving the begs, hugs, and kisses. Mom, we will be okay. You can go now because it hurts to see you suffer. My friend, if you don't learn to say a goodbye each and every day of your life, you will not be able to say goodbye at the last moments of each other's lives. Today, this weekend, we say goodbye to the children of Ovalde, Texas, who were gunned down. We have failed them. How do we ask forgiveness as a nation? How do we say a goodbye? Aren't schools supposed to be safe havens for our children? We had our school mass last Thursday, led by the kindergarten. <laughs> who did so well. Present were the class of St. Walter's School, class of 2018, who just graduated from high school. So much fun. Our young children were mesmerized by their high school alumni. So many pictures taken. After Mass, when I went to my room, I just cried. In this past three days, the only prayer that I have in front of our God is the words of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, why have you abandoned us? Can we bow our heads in prayer? If your loved one is here, please hold her hand tight. Because every moment with them is a precious gift from above. On this Memorial Day, grateful we are as a nation for those who have served. We give thanks for all the blessings that God has given us. And with broken hearts, we pray for those that are now saying goodbyes.
God bless America. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam, God bless America, my home sweet.